Hey everybody, this is Steve of Steve and Jennifer at The Common Milkweed. And I'm going to do a quick video here on another little creek project, stream restoration project, which uh, anybody can do with some bales of straw, a shovel, some loppers, and a hammer. So, what I my goal here was to see that culvert up there? That goes across the road. And let's just say we've had some yummy things coming over here from the neighbor, and I want to try to filter them out shortly after it gets on our property. So maybe 75 feet in, I put in this, I guess I'll call it a straw bale check dam. Now I can do this because there's not much watershed above this. If you wanted to do this, you'd want to check to see how much watershed is above you. And that you weren't going to impede the flow in a detrimental way to somebody upstream. Um, I've checked it out, we're fine. And um, so, not a lot of engineering here. However, I don't have a whole lot to lose because I can't really affect anybody upstream and I've got about 10 bucks in materials because um, I already had the tools. So, the first thing I did was cleared out an area of some of the dogwoods that are that have naturally come up in here so that I could work and so that there'd be more light uh, to promote some of the other plants that we want to grow in this creek. And then I dry fitted, so to speak, the bales and then sliced around the ends with the shovel so that I could get the bales level. And where I scooped out along the sides, I just threw that soil into the middle of the stream to level up the bottom of the stream and before it all washed away I quickly placed the bales, stomped on them and drove in some stakes that I made when I was cutting the dogwood. Now if you if you have plants like dogwoods, um, certain dogwoods, willows, cottonwoods, you can actually as you may, might know cut those and if you, if you pound them in to a wet area in the way that they were oriented, in other words, up is up, and what was going toward the roots is down, pound the down side into the ground, they will root if they get enough water. So a secondary benefit of doing these stakes, they're called live stakes in the restoration world, is that those, those might very likely sprout and create a wall of vegetation behind this bale and as the bales decompose and material builds up in their in their place you'll basically create a, a long-term living check dam from your uh, live stakes. I'm going to pause while somebody drives by here. So anyway pretty simple all you gotta do get yourself some straw bales Scoop out an area that's level, being sure to sort of key the ends of the bales into the bank a little bit so they don't just wash away, and then live stake them in. I just walked on top of these a little bit and stomped on them a little bit with my rubber boots that you need so you don't get your feet wet. And um, <clears throat> already the water's building up behind the check dam and the water below it is already cleaner than probably that which is above it. So it's already working. You might be thinking, oh Steve, what if you get a four inch rain? Well, they'll probably blow out, but I don't really care because, sorry if I'm moving too fast, there's a bunch of vegetation downhill that they'll get caught in. So I don't really have anything to lose except 10 bucks and it's a fun project so we'll see how it goes I'll probably do an update later and report back on the goal being achieved or not which was a um, less than the sediment and B also there was some foam you can use your imagination on that and see if I can uh, eliminate that at the check dam instead of seeing it go on downstream um, that's it simple tools 10 bucks, you got yourself a check dam.